Acid number is a standard measure of acidity in crude oils and oil products, serving as a crucial indicator of quality and safety of use. Acid number is determined by the amount of potassium hydroxide required to neutralize acids present in one gram of oil. KEM's AT710 potentiometric titrator is perfect for measuring acid number, and in this video, we will use it to do so in accordance with ASTM D664 method A. Measurement can be performed using the sensing and reference electrodes together, or alternatively, by using the convenient combined electrode option. In this video, we will be using the C173 combined electrodes. In this video, we use the magnetic stirrer. Changing the electrode's inner solution. Uncap the refill hole of the electrode and draw out the standard potassium chloride inner solution with a pipette. After enough is removed, add a little DI or distilled water and lightly tilt up and down to rinse. Draw out the water and rinse twice more. Perform a pre-wash with our new inner solution, 1 mole lithium chloride in ethanol. Drain and refill with new lithium chloride solution. Repeat this process two to three times. After finishing the pre-wash, fill the electrode with lithium chloride. Wipe the surface lightly and make sure to leave the refill hole uncapped during measurement. Wait 20 to 30 minutes before using the electrode to allow the solution to permeate the liquid junction. Preparing the burette with titrant. This is how to prepare the burette with the 0.1 mole per litre potassium hydroxide titrant. Press the burette button to access the settings. Select the burette you wish to use with burette number. Set purge times to 10 or more. In the purge mode setting, choose 2 bottle to purge to the reagent bottle. Press the up down button to purge. Purge to the reagent bottle 10 times. This ensures the titrant will be dispensed at the right concentration. After purging, remove any air from the titration nozzle's bubble trap and top up with titrant. Pressing the up button discharges reagent. After confirming that no bubbles remain in the bubble trap, press the up button again to stop discharging titrant. Raise the electrode holder so that when set, the electrode's glass bottom will not collide with the stand's base. Prepare the electrode and its cable before inserting the electrode into the holder from below and securing it. Fasten the cable to the top of the electrode. When setting the electrode, pay attention to the position of the electrode and the titration nozzle. The magnetic stirrer bar spins clockwise. The electrode is placed far from the nozzle to avoid it being hit with titrant directly. Electrode preparation. Next, we will calibrate the electrode using pH standards. pH standard liquid tables from standards such as NIST, ASTM and JIS are included in the software. Pressing a standards button reveals its tables data. Next, make settings for the calibrations method. With the method selected, press the edit key. Select the table that corresponds to the standard liquid. We are using the NIST table appropriate for our pH buffer. Next, select your standard liquid. Here, three types including pH 7, 4 and 10 will be used. Press the back button to return to the method screen. Confirm that the method you set is selected and proceed to calibration. Check the calibration settings and then press next. Raise the electrode and wipe its tip lightly to remove moisture. Set the pure water beaker aside, place the pH 7 beaker onto the stirrer and immerse the electrode. Press the turn on stirrer button to start it. Press next once its electric potential reading has stabilized. When immerse electrode in pH 4 is displayed, you can move on to the pH 4 point calibration. Turn off the stirrer, rinse the electrode and lightly wipe dry.
Once done, perform the same calibration procedure for the pH 4 and pH 10 standards. Calibration successful will display once all calibrations have been completed. Press Calib End to exit. Standardization of titrant, factor measurement. Transfer 4 mils of the potassium hydrogen phthalate standard to a beaker. Pipette against the side of the beaker to avoid splashing. Run enough pure water through the pipette to make sure all of the standard is transferred. Add additional pure water and the stirrer bar. Next, set the method. Create or select your method here and press OK to confirm. The selected method name will be displayed on the main screen. Press the sample button and enter the potassium hydrogen phthalate standard sample volume. Return to the main screen and press start to commence measurement. The titration has proceeded close to the endpoint. The result is displayed when reached. Perform twice more and calculate the average to get your final factor value. Here, the average value 0.97454 becomes the factor. Blank test. Next, we need to prepare and measure the blank. We will be using 125 ml of the solvent blank. Measure using a graduated cylinder and transfer to a beaker with a stirrer. The soaking electrode is removed from the pure water, immersed briefly in solvent and gently wiped dry. Place the solvent beaker onto the stirrer. Change the method. As shown previously, select the desired method, blank, and press OK. Next, press the sample button and enter sample weight and any other required information. Press start to start titration. And here's the result. Blank measurement is to be conducted in triplicate and the average value is used. The average is automatically calculated and reflected in the blank list. The average value 0.01237 mils is used here. Sample measurement. The sample being measured is a reference liquid containing 0.11 milligrams potassium hydroxide per gram. The sampling volume is dependent on the acid number concentration. Please refer to ASTM D664. D664 introduces measurement methods that can accurately determine low concentrations. For the current measurement, the sample mass is increased to 40 grams. Just like with the blank, remove the electrode from pure water, immerse briefly in solvent and gently wipe dry before setting a beaker containing the sample. After switching to the previously set method, Edit the sample's unit, mass and other info when necessary. Press start to begin measurement. The titration has proceeded close to the endpoint. The result is displayed when reached. Rinsing and reconditioning the electrode. As electrodes lose sensitivity when immersed in organic solvents for extended periods, it is necessary to rinse and soak them in between measurements. This involves rinsing the electrode with titration solvent and then soaking in water for at least 5 minutes to restore the aqueous gel layer of the glass electrode. Once the electrode is reconditioned, repeat measurement two more times. For unexpected measurement results. If the measurement data seems off, it may be due to the influence of atmospheric carbon dioxide. When carbon dioxide is a problem, purge the air around the sample surface using nitrogen gas. 
Measurement Results Here are the measurement results showing good accuracy and repeatability. For different solvent volumes, acid number CRM data and more, please refer to our application search site KEM App Search. KEM's AT710 series titrators are perfect for measuring acid number, complying with standards such as ASTM D664 and ASTM D3242. Contact us to find out more.